Hey there, rock hounds and nature lovers. Have you ever wished you had a treasure map that led straight to rubies and sapphires? Well, guess what? Nature already made one. Today, we're going to meet some amazing plants that act like real-life gem detectors. No magic, no danger. Just cool science and incredible natural wonders. 1. The Ruby Bloodroot Nature's Red Flag Our first gem hunting helper is the beautiful bloodroot. This plant has striking white flowers and bright red sap that looks like it's bleeding, which is how it got its name. But here's the fascinating part. That red color comes from chromium, the exact same element that makes rubies red. In places like North Carolina and Montana, miners have noticed that where bloodroot grows thickest, rubies often hide just below the surface. The plant thrives in soil that's low in iron, but rich in chromium, perfect conditions for ruby formation. In 2018, a geology student following bloodroot patches discovered a 15-carat ruby worth over $30,000. Now, while the sap can irritate your skin, you don't need to touch it to spot this helpful plant. Just look for its distinctive lobed leaves and pretty white flowers in early spring. It's like nature put up a big red arrow saying, dig here. Two, the sapphire orchid, a rare blue clue. Next up is one of the rarest flowers on earth the Nila Karinji orchid. This stunning plant blooms only once every seven years in the mountains of Sri Lanka and India, covering entire hillsides in a sea of blue. But here's why gem hunters get excited. This orchid only grows where the soil is rich in aluminum, the key ingredient in sapphires. Scientists have found that the roots of this orchid absorb aluminum from the soil, which may be why its flowers develop that incredible blue color. Local miners have used these flowers as guides for generations. In 2016, a team of geologists mapped orchid blooms and found they lined up perfectly with known sapphire deposits. The best time to search is right after the mass blooming events when the plants are easiest to spot. Just remember, these flowers are protected in many areas. So look, but don't pick. 3. The Golden Spider Silk, Nature's Glittering Web Now this one might surprise you. In the rainforests of Madagascar in South America, there's a spider called the Golden Orb Weaver that spins webs with a secret. The silk actually contains tiny traces of gold and other precious metals. Researchers discovered that these spiders build their webs in areas where the soil contains gold, rubies, and other minerals. The silk picks up these tiny particles, giving it that golden shine. In 2020, a team from the University of Melbourne used spider webs to help locate a new gold deposit. While you probably don't want to collect spider webs yourself, spotting these golden strands between trees can be a great indicator that you're in a mineral-rich area worth exploring further. 4. The Singing Sand Dunes – Earth's Natural Metal Detector have you ever heard sand sing? In places like Namibia and the Mojave Desert, there are special dunes that produce eerie musical tones when the wind blows. This incredible phenomenon happens because the sand grains are extremely round and uniform and often contain tiny diamond particles. The singing is caused by quartz and diamond grains rubbing together in just the right way. Geologists have found that the loudest singing dunes often have the highest concentration of diamonds. In fact, diamond mining companies sometimes use sound recordings to help locate new deposits. If you ever visit these singing dunes, try sliding down the slopes, 
you'll make the sanding yourself. Just remember to check if you're in a protected area before doing any digging. The Diamond Fern, a glowing secret. Our final natural treasure detector might be the most amazing of all, the Diamond Fern. Found in Western Australia and parts of Africa, this unassuming plant has a spectacular secret. Its spores glow bright red under UV light. This happens because the fern grows in soil that contains kimberlite, the volcanic rock that brings diamonds to the surface. The spores absorb minerals from the soil, causing them to fluoresce. Diamond exploration teams actually use UV lights at night to scan for these glowing ferns. It's like nature's own highlighter pen. In 2019, a prospector using this method found a cluster of small diamonds just by following patches of glowing ferns. While you probably won't find huge diamonds this way, it's still an incredible example of how plants can guide us to treasures. 6. Bonus, the Magnetic Moss, Nature's Compass. Here's one extra cool plant for you, Magnetic Moss. In places like Sweden and Canada, certain mosses grow in perfect alignment with Earth's magnetic field. Scientists discovered that these mosses prefer soil that contains iron and titanium, which are often found near gem deposits. You can actually see the alignment with a simple compass. The moss tends to grow in north-south lines. Prospectors sometimes use these natural compasses to help locate potential mining areas. It's like the plants are giving us directions to treasure. Isn't nature amazing? These plants and natural phenomena have been helping humans find treasures for centuries, long before we had modern technology. The best part is that you can use many of these clues yourself on your next nature hike. Remember to always get permission before exploring new areas and consider teaming up with local geology clubs or experts. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next person to make an exciting discovery thanks to these incredible natural guides. If you enjoyed this adventure, let me know which plant surprised you most in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing nature mysteries.